Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Cisco. We're here for today's episode of Engineers Unplugged. With us, we've got Travers Nicholas and Tom Chatham. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Are you all ready? All right, take it away. Great, thank you. Let me, let me kick this one off. So, so what we're going to talk about here today, guys, we're going to talk about running applications on new devices for remote users and uh, how we might achieve that. So, so really, straight off the bat, we're going to need some people, right? Some users. So uh, let's put our little people over here. Now, the thing about users is they like to use applications, and they like to use applications on devices. So kinds of applications they're going to be running are things like messaging, right? They're going to run some financial applications, maybe to help them sell their product, or maybe to help them uh, buy new customers you know, from the industry and so on. Um, and maybe some business process applications, right? So, with these new applications, they're going to be able to run them, build them with new frameworks such as Spring and you know all the good stuff from the vFabric stack that VMware are building, and uh, and they're going to be able to run all those new apps on the new devices. So let's put in some of these devices here. So here's a laptop. That's an old device. Good. Here is a iPad, and here's a little you know uh, iPhone. Right. Awesome. So job done. We've got the we've got the new apps. The new app frameworks, we've put them on our new devices. No big deal, right? Uh, what about the infrastructure that supports all those? Mm. Mm. Okay. Corporate applications for not just using Dropbox or Servicers or Google, we're going to have to put this behind a firewall in our own data center, right? So from the uh, wireless over the WAN into our corporate environment, which we'll uh, start back up top. VPN services, gateway firewall. Our infrastructure is our uh, virtual vSphere running for VMs, compute, and storage. In that mix, we've got uh, networking and uh, data protection services. Got to back all that up. And uh, also re replicate for DR considerations. That's a cloud there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so is there a simple way to build this out really quick, Tom? We might have a solution for that. Converged infrastructure by VCE. <laughs> B-Block 300 and 700 is a product that we produce and sell in the marketplace. It's a collaboration of efforts between Cisco, VMware, and EMC, supported through a VCE, and uh, manufactured in Ireland and over in the US. So uh, on top of that, VC has services where we can have disaster recovery and disaster avail avoidance with uh, recover point and vplex. So recover point is your traditional disaster recovery when you, uh, which integrates with VMware SRM, allowing you to execute a process to recover those that lost data center at your recovery site. Um, Today, at VMworld, we're talking about workload mobility solution from a VCE and EMC and Cisco, leveraging EMC's VPlex, Cisco OTV, and VBlock technologies. I'll just draw that up here quickly. So what we're seeing here, we've got users accessing their applications remotely. Now some of those applications have been rebuilt, redeveloped for modern devices, you know, web-based protocols and such, but some of them need to be accessed on legacy devices. Uh, sorry, it's through legacy operating systems such as Windows. Uh, well, it's still, a, I shouldn't call it a legacy operating system. That might be a rough blow. But uh, what we want to do with those is we want to virtualize those, right? So we need to take the legacy apps. We're going to run old apps on new infrastructure. So we'll build out a virtual desktop infrastructure over here, right here. And we'll have our Windows instance running our legacy app but accessible on a modern device, such as an iPad, an iPhone, or even your laptop. Now, because we're running our virtual desktops on the same infrastructure as our applications, we have nice low latency connectivity between them. We also can leverage the same disaster recovery and disaster avoidance technologies that Tom's just drawn out for us. So tell us a bit about them, Tom. 
So VPlex provides us with a virtualized distributed volume that is synchronously replicated between sites. VPlex Metro, this is supported under VMware's stretch um, clustering capabilities. Um, we have a VBlock in our remote data center, a VBlock in our primary data center. If we lose this VBlock, all of our services recover on the remote side, and uh, OTV with layer two extended between both sites enables the same IP address and same VLANs to exist in both locations, and also supports v VMware's vMotion, so that those workloads with VMware HA restart on the other VBlock. Great stuff. So, where are the rainbows, Tom? Uh, rainbows uh, definitely are there uh, when the sun's shining on the day you don't go to work uh, to uh, bring up your uh, DR plan. Yeah, draw a little rainbow in there. <laughs> Great, well thank you very much and uh, turn us over to Amy. All right, so um, where are the unicorns? Where are the unicorns? Uh, quick draw unicorn. Yeah, who can draw a unicorn <laughs> faster? Okay viewers, we're going to leave you to judge. Um, unicorn A, that's the Tom Chatham Unicorn. Unicorn B from Travis Nicholas. Um, wow, great stuff. So thanks a lot, you guys. And uh, we'll Thank see you, you next time on Engineers Unplugged.